We played more Pathfinder Kingmaker today. Big surprise, big surprise. I know, I know. But it's exciting. Because it's always good. Innes, what up? Reddo, nice to see you. I'm waiting for Zadona to come in and ask, is this a Pathfinder Kingmaker channel now? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. Jeez, isn't it always? I'm just trying to connect this quickly. Give me one second. Please work, please work, please. It worked. Hey, just got to ask it nicely. Okay. Yeah, because it's always good. So, that said, about it always being good. When we last left off, man, <laughs> we just sort of like started up a bunch of stuff. Like, we, we ended some stuff, we started some stuff, we got a whole bunch of quests here. <sighs> Add five regions to your lands. Ancient Curse Part 2. I think this is the timer. So 129 days until, like, the next step of the main story. Increase the ranks of barony stats five times. Unlock any secondary stat. Unlock a new leader post. I don't know how that works. Uh, Shellen's Chosen. This is Valerie. Investigate My Death is Jaithel. Sweet Teeth is Casey. Casey. We're still trying to do The Last Child. I... Yeah, okay, we need to go and ask the, the mother again, right? Capital Tavern. Okay, we're gonna do that right now, then we're gonna carry on with the rest of the stuff. Yo, Hus Nerds, hello. So, Tavern is... Tavern is... Oh shit, Tavern is like... It's here? You, it's like an area you go into, right? I... I think you like go into a separate area for the Tavern, I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. Why is their chair so nice and big? Boom. Is this right? Yeah, there we go. Tavern. Arc Reaper, what up? You're orange today. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm back at it. And I'm pretty excited because I want to try and get my, like, barony. I want to say my kingdom. Like, not so much ranked up now, but, like, I want to get it rolling a little bit. And, uh... <clears throat> I think I can I can sort of take a few steps to get myself towards that now today tonight whatever let's see first however about this lady I honestly could not tell you where there she is okay listen I paid a visit to the witch your son is not there how can it be and I thought but but if it wasn't her then then that means that her face turns pale, and she covers her mouth with both hands. Calm down. Tell me. What did you hide from me? My boy, he was... He was such a little mischief maker that day. That day he was especially loud. Kept running around the house. He flipped a tub of dough, and well... Oh, God. What have I done? I lost my temper. I shouted at him. I told him he can go drown himself in Candlemere Lake. Oh, Jesus. His own mother wishing he was dead. But how could I have known it would all come true? If you find him, I beg you, tell him I love him more than life itself. Never, never again, shall I say anything mean to him. Just bring him back safe and sound. Okay. Jesus, God. <laughs> God, please. Mommy, dearest. I love how they start that. Confess she shouldn't have blamed the witch. She got angry and shouted, demanded uh, he leave. So he did. So irresponsible. The neglectful mother recalls saying she'd wished he could go drowning Candlemere Lake. We have no better lead, so we may as well start looking there. <sighs> yeah, so I, I, I basically, I, I just remember reading about the kingdom oh. thing. And I remember reading most people saying, hey, uh, yeah, I wish I had done my kingdom stuff earlier. <laughs> so I'm going to, I know it's like, oh, man, it's, it's like, it's not much, but I'm going to try to do what I can. Like, I know it's not much. I know. That's why we're going to go to the throne room now. We're going to try rank up some stats. We're going to try, I think, expand one more time so we can get a town. We need, So we need to expand one more time. I want to actually get that other pet for myself. I actually want both pets on my character. I just, I just thought about it and I think that even though, like, morale on perception and lore check. I mean, no, actually this should stay on him. I don't need those. Yeah, okay. Anyway, okay, fine. So, yeah. Uh, what I was saying was, 
uh, it would be good if I could capture the null marches here, the southern null marches. But at the same time, it's it's like it's 400 BP. So what I can do now is I can increase another stat. Now these two I can't do because these advisors are busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my speaker's on. There we go. Twenty-two dodo da bob da bob ba goop ba goop ba goop dodo da bob da bob ba goop ba goop ba goop. Who? Wow. Brian. Eloquent, as always. Kratzel? Dude, 22? Isn't there a Katy Perry song about that? Or is it Taylor Swift? Hey, dude, thank you so much for the 22 months. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yo, nice to see you, man. Shit. I hope you're doing well. Like, legit. I hope all's good. Lily, hello. What up? Nice to see you. Oh my god. I could do loyalty to rank 3. Should I do this? Yeah, dude. Let's get one to rank 3. People are going to be loyal as shit. Unless we decide to do this. Edgy, what up, dude? Nice to see you. Hello, 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 hello. This is good. This is good. I think we're going to do this. Oh my god, everyone's so loyal! Holy crap! Until they decide to rebel because you're so nice to them. Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, what you just said is in no way affecting what I'm picking, but let's work on military might. <laughs> let's rank up the military. Shit, can I just do this right now? Wait, wait, wait. So, I'm gonna check my town quickly. And... Yeah, yeah, we can build, like, one more thing quickly. I, I know it's a bit of a waste, but, like, it does give you stats, right? And a lot of these are, like, good stats that can, like, come in handy and shit. So, tavern, temple, temple of Asmodeus, temple, 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 artisan, workshop, garrison, citadel. We've got a tavern. Trade shop, dance hall, shrine... What do we need? What do we need? Orphanage would be good. Economy. I think we need economy. Oh, adjacent to tavern. Oh, effects foundry, smithy, and forge. Okay, we'll put that there. I just want to build like... I, you know, it's like I don't want to build a lot of stuff. I just want to build a few things. Yeah, exactly. You need to strike a balance, but it's so hard. Knowing what to do. Oh my god, I forgot I made Bokken's alchemy shop. I forgot about that. Holy crap. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, jeez. <laughs> I completely forgot. Uh, what does it affect? Nothing. Tavern? So that's uh, artisan shop, brewery. Let's put a brewery over here. Or a luxury store or a shop. Yeah, let's put the shop there. There you go. I, I don't want to spend all my shit. I just want to get a little bit here, a little bit there. That's the plan. So, now we're going to do a rank up. And we're going to go with this one, military. Oh my god, it's so scary seeing the time pass by so quickly, man. It's so scary. Boom. Failure? Minus one economy. You've got to be shitting me. Oh my god. You see, that's worth saves coming. Ah, what's my economy on? Where's my economy? There. That's 29. This is fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's let's see. I'm not going to save scum. It's fine. Uh, how do we do... I wouldn't mind upgrading the economy. Shouldn't always do what the advisor prefers, Tristian. For example, always sides with the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scum, scum, scum. Yeah, I don't know if I want to scum it, dude. It's like, I mean, what, what's the difference? What if it fails again? What kind of, like, what kind of precedent am I setting? <clears throat> also, I don't know when the last save was. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, this one time I'll save scum. <laughs> this... 
One time I will save scum. Just because so many problems popped up right there. It's like three different problems, I think. I wonder... That's the wrong save. Auto save. Wrong, wrong save. It's fine. This is the one. This is the one. This is this should be right after I spoke to the merge. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's the one. Dude, I'm gonna run out of. T I'm not run out of time, but like, I'm gonna run out of uh, space on my bars. Always save before skipping days. Oh, I can save right here. Fantastic. That is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, Silver. Dude, nice to see you. How big a deal is the looting on the news? I am going to be honest with you right now. I never watch the news. I also never read the news. But I do know the news. It's a big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal. Uh, you want to you wanna see a good like batch of examples go to the south africa subreddit you'll see some videos there it looks like the goddamn walking dead like i'm not even joking you know those those scenes that the walking dead is honestly famous for where they have this massive highway with a bunch of like the walking dead the zombies like shambling towards them and then there's this row of guys with guns that's what it looks like in south africa right now it's the worst in durban and uh, uh, Pretoria, uh, Johannesburg, like the strip, basically. The it, it's really bad, man. The people are they're losing their shit. Like I've now read about three different malls on this. I re this is just from the subreddit. Three different malls that got stripped from top to bottom. So people, just opportunists. They had nothing to do with any of the political shit involved. They ran into the malls. They stripped it. Everything. Food shops. Like, uh, clothing stores, electronic stores, all of it. All of it, dude. Yeah, what caused it, again, I mentioned this last night, was the, um, the former president, he, uh, he got put in jail. Oh, well, he's going to jail. I, is he in jail yet? I don't know. I couldn't tell you, but he's going to jail. That's basically what's happening. And, well, the people are not happy. He's, he's a crook, dude. He should go to jail, but yeah, still, people are not happy. Okay, we're going to make a shop quickly. Boom. Shop in each of them. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. Now we're going to skip the days again. I'm going to save one more time right now, because this is exactly where I wanted. No, they did it. Uh, look, it started as protests. They liked the dude, yeah. They wanted to be the dude is actually more what it is. Because he was like a chief or whatever among the people. He was, I suppose, traditionally in their culture seen as successful. Because he had, his his education rank was, um, like, he, he basically had standard three, grade five? Grade five education and he became president of the country. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's the ideal. He's literally the ideal. So, yeah, um <laughs> they wanted to be like him, so a lot of them got a bit angry when he when people uncovered the truth and now he's going to jail. And now they everyone's just, now dude, it started as riots, now it's just a full on like uh, fiesta. <laughs> Clown fiesta with people stealing shit. Like it's crazy. Okay, success. Economy plus 3. Fantastic. Now, let's see what all this stuff is that just popped up. So yeah, listen, you shouldn't ask me about stuff like this. I agree, because I honestly have no idea. But uh, I do see the news. Yeah, I'd see the news. What the hell's KBA? Is that his base of support KBA? I don't know what that means, Silver. Okay, so we got a bunch of things here. Problem. Mysterious weed. Oh my god, we've had this one before. How many days? 20 days to solve. Nah, dude. Hold on. Opportunity. Opportunity. Problem. Oh, a letter. Problem. Lindsay. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> sure. 21 days. They're all 21 days, dude.
concerned about their safety. Raising funds for building fortifications around their villages. Yeah, let's do this. Mr. Military Man can do this. 85% chance of success. I'm just starting a few of these up, then we can uh, carry on. <clears throat> oh, KZN. Yes, yes, yes. KZN. Yes. KwaZulu Natal, Gauteng. Uh, it's like the Western Cape, the, the Northern Cape, the Eastern Cape. Nah. He's, he's got, and, but that's where the most people are in the country. He, he has the most people. He has the most people. So, no matter what, you know. So, still life with a lemon peel. Drawn by local artists. We celebrated the connoisseurs, not lovers, and most peace. Go to waste. Oh, what? This is an opportunity. Sure, go for it. 70%. I have two points available. It's an opportunity. I'm not going to use the points on this. Okay. And then you. 85%. You. I'll have to save scum this, I guess. Okay. We can't rank up again. Because, well, as you can see. As you can see. Let's do some of this stuff. Yala Thote, what up? Nice to see you. They want him free. Lots of people think he was the greatest president. He was... He was not the greatest. He was such an idiot. Ah! Oh, God. But yes, they, they do think that. It's... It's frustrating, but... Okay, so when we go back to the throne room now, they're going to speak to us. Lots of people are going to speak to us. Anyway, it's a lot of drama, and honestly, if you want to know the gist of it, just go check out the South Africa subreddit. It's reddit.com slash r slash South Africa. One word. They have a lot of stuff on there. Great news, Your Grace. Magor Vaughn, the Lord of Vaughn Holt, wants to form an alliance with you and establish a trade route between your lands. Oh, I should do some trade routes, dude. I saw trade routes. I got his letter. Okay. Boom. Do I need to read that letter? What's going on? Oh, 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 wait. It's just another trade agreement. I'll check it out. Bad news, Your Grace. There's a thief within your close circle. A significant shortage has been discovered within the treasure. An investigation's already underway. The guilty party will soon be brought before your judgment. Oh my god, is she the guilty party? Uh, I think I might know something about this and, uh, no, some, something about this, no, the shocking, most shocking event. Can we discuss this? One-on-one, -on -one, maybe? I'll wait for you in the inn after council. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, little girl. What the hell? I'd never have imagined she would find herself connected to such a crime. <laughs> yeah. Same. Same. Big, big same. Oh, this is Bokken. What the hell is he doing here? Unfazed by the awkward silence, Bokken searches through his bags for quite a while. Finally, he pulls out a sizable brown paper package. There you go. A little something from old Bokken. Oh. What the shit? Thanks for the items. If you need anything else in particular, let me know. I'm not sure. Uh, if you're not sure, I'll go home and think something myself. My bones ache. What? Why would he throw that in? Okay. You may go now? No. Yeah, I'd like craft something specific. Remind me who you are. <laughs> oh, no. Alchemical items. Ointments. Running low on potions. Sure, potions. Very good. If you want to buy something else, just come around. Oh, and while I'm here, there's a book I've always wanted to read. Of Transmutations and Bodily Poisons. In three volumes. If you were to find it for me, I could produce something most remarkable for you. Something that might even... He cuts himself... Oh, well, well there's no use in empty words. But they say there's an ancient formula hidden in one of these books. Bring me the books and I'll brew the potion for you. I know that old Beldame, the old witch who lives in the swamp, had one of these volumes in her hut gathering dust. She must still have it for sale, I imagine. As for the other two, I have no idea. You might look in a magic shop or in the bookcases and locked drawers of other alchemists. Okay, cool. Yo, uh, have I seen Asmogold's Final Fantasy XIV? Yeah, I, I have watched a little bit here and there, but I don't, I don't watch it on the regular, no. I don't know. I mean, I've seen the whole game already. And I mean, him playing the game... It's, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's sort of, it's him playing the game. It's 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 definitely quite popular now, though, isn't it? Huh? Pretty pretty popular, huh? <laughs> Is he getting incessantly trolled still? Yeah, I think so. I mean, that's not going to change, dude. Less obviously, but she she stole my BP, dude. Okay, less. He's getting trolled less, but he's still getting trolled. Yeah. No, the game wouldn't have GMs following him around. That would be ridiculous. But, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but I, I guess I would be surprised. I don't know. It would be ridiculous. 
Oh, oh, trade agreements, dude. Where are all my advisors? Everyone's busy. Literally everyone is busy. I need new advisors. You resubbed? Hey, thanks man. I didn't see it pop up, but if you did, that's fantastic. I honestly, I don't deserve it. And I mean that with all my heart. So thank you. <laughs> Sicko, what's up? Are they on strike? Well, it seems like they're doing something other than, you know, working for me. Time so, becomes distance. that kind of sucks. I'm going to leave this for now. I think we've done enough. I'm going to drop some items off in my old thing. Oh, wait. You know what I could do quickly? I don't think there's a timer on anything right now. So, what I could do is I could actually buy some BP and then claim the lands, right? Let's put these away. Because I have a lot of coins. I got 60k now. Well, maybe that's a bad idea. Claiming the lands right now. I'm not sure, dude. These are wands. Oh, it seems like I have already put stuff away. Okay, let's go. Claim as soon as I can. Well, I think I can. Let's check, let's check. I'm going to check if I can buy some BP and then... I need 400, so... Wait, how much do I have? I mean, if she didn't steal my shit, 330, I need 70. If she didn't steal my shit, we'd have enough. Do I have to actually click... Se oh. Oh, okay. I can't yet. I, I need I need some time. Right. So I need a, an advisor present. So we'll wait. In four days, we'll do it. This guy can join me for it. Uh, let's get out of here. Four days. I will save before starting. Yo, Dave. What up? Nice to see you. Hello. I will. So we have to go... Should I go do Lindsay's thing quickly? I feel like I should do Lindsay's thing quickly. It seems important. No, listen. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, we should. We should. Because... The whole idea is that we should probably just start up all the quests and easier to ask for forgiveness. I know where this is going. So we start up all the quests and then as we leave the base, we can sort of do them along the way. That kind of shit. It makes sense to me. She's going to be in the tavern. Let's go check. It's better than, than, than going around and like visiting places, not knowing that there are other quests there. You know? Where's this little shit now? There she is, right by the fire. Lindsay shuffles around nervously, fidgeting with a quill in her hand. She turns bright red. Well, about the embezzlement. I mean, um... Uh, calm down, Lindsay. Everything's fine. What did you want to tell me? Well, it was me, but I can't explain. You see, I've always dreamed of owning my own printing house so I could print whatever books I want. Then I found out there was a printing press being sold for cheap in Brevoy, and I, well, I, I just couldn't resist. What? She just bought something. Are you serious? She took the money to buy something. Alright, you can open your publishing house, but no more surprises. You dipped into the treasury. Anyone else would be behind bars for this. Oh my god. Great idea. Good for you, Lindsay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, open it, but no more surprises. Thank you. You have my word. Won't happen again. There's one other problem, though. The press should have been delivered by now, but it hasn't shown up. I'm afraid that with our roads and the seeming menagerie that roams them, it might end up vanishing into thin air. Can we maybe go check to see if something's happened? We're supposed to be coming across the road uh, through the null marches. Yeah, let's go find it. It gives me experience. Just don't leave without me, she says. Fantastic. So we have to also yeah. sort of level up Jaythil soon, I think. Just take the books. God damn it. Dave will be sunbathing this week. Ask for pics. Good weather. Summer is here soon. We just had the coldest day we've ever had here. The whole day was just freezing. 
and it's kind of crazy. So yeah, your summer is probably going to be intense. Actually intense. Uh, let's leave. Can I leave? Exit. Okay, so we should take Jaythil with... Who's... She's expendable. We'll bring Jaythil. This is fine. And we've got all the quest people in. That's okay. That disappointed you? Part of the reason you ever brought her with you as part of your main party? I think it's cool. What the shit's that dragon over there? It's toppled over. I forgot to get loot for J for Jaythil now. Oh no. I'll, I'll get some. Hold on, wait. We'll go back in quickly. God damn it, this is such a waste of time. <laughs> Throne room. Was it actually freezing though? Yeah, like, the whole day was less than about 6 or 7 degrees. Maybe it went up to 10 and then it came down again. Uh, but this morning That's when I woke up, it was like there, minus 2. So, yeah. Pretty cold. What's going on? It's lady in the way. She's calling you. <laughs> no. What should I use for... Does the cookery work? I'm just trying to find some loot for this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nether Armor Plus 2 is fine. What? I just want to see what she can use. Dexterity. Cape. Yo, if you're into that kind of thing, Kokanich, Ezekiel, and Itmi JP are doing a hot tub stream someday. Three middle-aged dudes in a hot tub. Yeah, hot as shit since sliced bread. That is pretty hot. I didn't know they were doing a hot tub stream. What? That's fantastic. I'm glad to hear it. Was that one of his charity things? Sick, dude. Can she use cookeries? This is fine. Here we go. Oh, she uses a scythe. What is, what is her, oh my God. What is her specialization? Is it scythe? Okay, I guess she's gonna use the scythe. I thought she was using daggers or something. That's my bad, dude. No. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I don't care if she's shit. Middle-aged is like 50. <laughs> Wait, Jaythel can take heavy armor and prefers scythes? You're choking. She has heavy armor? Medium? Medium. Oh, I haven't leveled her. I guess that's the problem, right? What is it? What stat does she want? Good to God. This is crazy. What stat's her main stat? Dex, maybe? Or is it strength? Dude, she's got everything spread everywhere. What do I do? Yeah, I think she's medium. It's fine. These ones are good. There. Strength and wisdom. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Thank you. <clears throat> that sounds good. I don't even know what she is. Like... I don't, I don't even, she's an, yeah, I know she's an inquisitor, but I don't even know what she is, like what she does, what, what.
bone shaker. Aid. Yeah, should I check in the info under class? I should probably hold on. Moves from place to place, chasing down enemies, researching emergent threats. Result often travel with others. No reason mask their presence. Inquisitors work with members of their faith whenever possible. But are not above what? Allies are not above superstition. That doesn't really tell me much, but uh she can heal, so maybe I should do some healing. But she's got buffs as well. Oh, it's like a cleric without heal. Well then, let's do this. Let's go for some... Well, I mean, let's do... What is aid? Yeah, let's go with this. I'll make her... Ho no, 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 no. She's not going to buff. No, no. Okay. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give her full uh, damage. Like, she's just going damage, dude. And, and like, offensive stuff. I think that's the idea. Right? There's nothing you want to watch this anime season. Isn't uh, Attack on Titan and My Hero Academia still going? Hey, Yambix, what up? 37 Celsius, 78% humidity. Yikes. That's that's rough, dude. Okay, let's go Bone Shaker. It's fine. I only went for that because I have no idea what I'm doing. Clerics are the best, just saying. Yeah. I mean, they're pretty good. No attack on Titan. When it does come out, you must never finish it. Maybe they change it in the anime. I remember what you said. Don't worry, but maybe they change it. Teamwork feat. Oh. Okay. Uh... I don't know. Oh, this is a lot of teamwork feats. Okay. This is fine. Coordinated maneuvers seems cool. Okay, we get another one. Jesus, she's getting a lot of like level one spells. No, this seems shit. No, but I don't want this. Okay, let's just do delay poison as well. Outflank is strong. I'll get it next time. It's fine. Oh, I mean, I, can, I didn't even... I can get it right now, I guess. So I, can, I can get another one next time. It's all good. I want to play the game, don't worry. I just didn't I didn't want to do this now. I really do want to play the game. Power attack's good. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, level 1. Let's see. I like Bane. She's got this already, right? Yeah. Demon Slayer was apparently supposed to be, like, really good, huh? I should watch that. I don't really have time for anime right now. We started watching Black Widow. I, I say I don't have time for anime, and then I start watching something like Black Widow. God damn. Seems okay. Seems okay. It's amazing. Demon Slayer is amazing. Okay. I, I mean, I'm gonna give it a... I'm gonna give it a strong consideration, huh? I will. I will.
I've already got this on someone else, so. Litanies. Huh. I'll watch it. Uh, you finished Umbrella Academy season one yesterday? Ah. Oh. Yeah, I haven't seen that either. My parents watched that. And yes, no spoilers, needless to say. Let's do remove curse. And and I'll do remove disease next time. Like I said, I'm not going to be using her as my main character anyway. Yeah, not anytime soon at least. She won't be in the A-team. But having her here, and then we do remove disease as the other one, right? There we go. Shit, that was boring. Holy crap, I almost died of boredom. Whew. Okay, we're back. Let's go. I just want to play the game, dude. I just, I, You know what I want to do right now? I just want to play the game. I was going to read today, huh? I, I, I want to say this to you guys. I was going to read today, but I'm not going to read anymore. I'm so done. I, wanna, I just want to play. Hey, is the dub good? Oh, fantastic. Ooh, 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 dubbed. I'll do a dub. Okay, so we need to go to the mud bowl. We need to go to the road that... Oh, we need to go to Old Sycamore. We need to go to... Where's Lindsay's quest? I don't see it here. Journal. Muddy Roads of the Null Marches. This is... No. Oh, South Null... This is this way. Okay, it's this way. Okay, that's that's not happening right now. We go into the we gotta go to Old Sycamore, we'll go there at some wait, that's for that's for Jathel, right? Let's go there right now. Okay. Oh, it's at the Swamp Witch Hut? Fantastic. Thanks. You've been chugging through Final Fantasy 14 while you can? Some of the wait times are such a pain. Yesterday you had 130 Q just to connect to your server. The game has definitely picked up in popularity. And while that does seem like kind of rough in the now, it's really good for the health of the game in general. It's really good. Uh, on the note of like on the topic of MMOs, I am glad to hear that we have maybe New World or whatever coming up. When is it? Next week or two? A week for a week? Yeah, next week. A week from now. Uh, that's that's kind of cool because then there's some variety at least, and there's there's something to keep the other people on their toes a little bit maybe. I'm, I'm basically, all I'm saying is I'm, I'm kind of keen to, to see what New World has going for it. Time there was a way through here somewhere. There you go. Uh, won't work. Wait, um, it was like close to here, right? It was somewhere up here. Play properly? Oof, dude, you should have been here yesterday. We were owning yesterday, dude. Took out a group of three greater owl bears, and it was literally just my godsend micro that saved us. It was insane. It was insane. No, 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 no. I'm not going to listen to anyone. Don't worry. <laughs> he asked me to play properly, but I can't. I can't play differently. I play the way I play. It's, I, it's, it's. You know. I did it. It is what it is. It is what it is. So I'll listen to all of you. But I shan't add here. It's easy to micro when you can pause the game at will. Shh. It's my time manipulation technique, okay? It's not actually just part of the game. It's me. It's me. It's all me, man. This is all me. I have infinite APM when he's paused. Yeah, exactly. Didn't you get wiped by the owl bears over five times before? No, what? No, what? Technicalities, dude. Those didn't count. 
You know, it's like those timelines in Loki that get pruned. You know, those ones didn't, they never continued to exist. So, thereby, there's the boar. Thereby, none of that actually ever happened. Ha! Jaythil. Jaythil approaches the boar carcass, carefully examining the ground around it. See? There should be a pool of blood, but it's not here. It seems the beast came from somewhere else already wounded and then died here. But I can't track the direction. The ground is rocky. It would take a troll to leave footprints here. Jaythil inspects the wound of the boar's neck. The cuts are distinctive, like the kind my dagger would make. It has a few deep serrations on one side of the blade, so it would, like a saw-toothed weapon uh, on that side. It would what? Oh, wounds. <laughs> it wounds like a saw-toothed weapon on that side. So far, everything backs up the elf story. But how can we find the one who stabbed the boar? Oh, easily. Don't worry. Listen. Easily. Perception 17. We carefully examine everything around here. If the boar was already wounded when it came here, it must have left a trail of blood somewhere. Boom! Traces were easily discovered. Marks of dark blood spotted the ground here and there, leaving, leading westward. Easier than I imagined. The trail's clear. It leads to the Thorn River. We should search the shores. Might find something there that points towards the dagger zone. Okay. No, no, no. Not this way. West. Boom. Yo, do we have a dryer for laundry? No. Not anymore. We used to have one. It died. It conked out. And now we just hang the stuff inside. It's in the kitchen. It's in the kitchen. Oh, I should have done the law check first. I didn't know e both of them or either of them or I thought that they were both going to like give me another option or like is it generally like the first one is always like the first one and then you do the second one and the second one is the or the last one at least is the one that will end the tr the wait what oh I can't go there so the last one is generally the one that will end the conversation seems a little silly I didn't realize that I thought I thought I could I thought it was like a multiple choice thing where I could go for the one and then either it finishes and accepts that or then I could go for the other one as well. This is a tiny little area. There are some phallic mushrooms up on that cliff. Let's save. Your attention. Thank you. Valerie perception check. Interesting. What's that? So Jaythal is at the back. We should probably get her to the front. Boom. Boom. Did you see that? Lindsay, get to the back. You get there. No. There. You know what? I actually need a custom setup. I need a custom setup. We need a we need a triangle. God damn it. No, it's not a triangle. We need a circle like this. There you go. You see that? I see it. I did it! Yeah, it's no biggie. But yeah, every little bit does count in this game. It's indeed right. Hey, there's some elves here. Why did they set up so many traps? Are they distrustful of us? I did it! Oh shit. Oh shit! Megalosaurus, dude. Get in there, tank. Every little bit counts. God, that was the saddest war cry from that moose. It might not have been a war cry. I feel like that might have been something else entirely. A death whale? Yeah, perhaps it was a death whale. How good are the casting classes in Final Fantasy XIV? Pretty good. I mean, I think that all the classes have their moments. They they shine in different, uh, let's just say, fields. That's her! She's found us! What? Monster, we knew that you'd always thirst for blood. You will not take our lives easily. I the what now? Why are they attacking us? And they're so young, Serves too. Right. You know what I'm going to do here? You want to see some plane properly? This is how it's done. We nuke. It's a, it's a self-nuke. No, no, no. Use controlled fireball, actually. Then it's not even a self-nuke. No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Cast it so it can hit all of them. It's a boom da boom boom Oh, God. It's not even necessary. <laughs> it's a massacre. <laughs> oh my god. Have I talked to Jaythil on her history? Oh, shit. I might not have. I should probably do that at some point. Yeah. 
Okay, Jaythel, what's going on? What's cracking? She freezes in front of the dead elven girl. It's hard to read anything on the Inquisitor's face, but her posture suggests tension, trembling force of a tightly stretched bowstring. What a lovely child. And she looks so like my Natella? Nortalala? Nortalara. Even death couldn't twist her beauty. What? The hell? You just... With blank look in her eyes, Jaythel passes her hand over the girl's body. The feeling of an oppressive force, cold and painful, becomes nearly physical. A convulsion passes through the body of the dead elven girl. With a quiet moan turned into a cry, the corpse opens eyes and rises. Jaythel looks in amazement, as if she's surprised by what she's done. Animating the dead? I had no idea you could do that. Uh... I never knew the side of my powers. Something has awakened in me. The ability to share. Ugathoa's gift? She studies her new, newly created undead with a look of a sculptor contemplating her creation. Withering under the stare, the undead girl begins to tremble. What, what have you done to me? What is this? I saved you from oblivion. You and all your beauty, foolish child. Now, bear Ugathoa's gift. Just as I, you are undead. If you prefer the word used by uncomprehending narrow minds. No! No! It's better that I follow my friends into death than become a disgusting undead creature. An unnaturally strong convulsion takes the girl's body. She glares at you. I beg for mercy. She doesn't have a heart, but you're different. You still live. Let me die. Put me out of my misery. Oh, shit. 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 Need your advice for a choice here? I don't really care about Jaythel's story, to be honest. <laughs> Why did you attack us? The wide eyes of the elven girl are filled with confusion. We only meant to protect ourselves. The wanderer warned us that this monster was chasing us. The elf points the ice uh, points at the icy calm Jaythel. He told us that she th sought new sacrifices. Everyone in Kionan knows that she killed elves for the sake of her damned goddess, and now she managed to get away with it, walked freely into exile. If we had known. That she would track us down. We'd never have left the forest of our homeland. Wait, what? So, who is this wanderer who claimed that Jaythel was chasing you? We knew him as Wanderer. But it's only a nickname. I do not know what his true name was. He is a half-elf. My friends knew him. They said he has a wanderer's soul that takes him from place to place. I've seen him a couple of times in Conan and recently I've even seen him on the road. He caught up with us to warn us of the danger. He has brown hair and yellow-green eyes like a cat. Please, I don't know anything else. Release me. Every moment in this lifeless body drives me mad. Okay, what are you going to do with this poor girl? I will not harm her. I will not let her harm herself. She is frightened and does not understand the gift she just received. Elves live long lives, but they are still subjects of time. Only Ugathoa's gift can shield them from it. Eternal life, eternal youth, eternal immortal beauty. Can anything be compared to this? Huh. I hope Jaythil... That you feel sorry for the senseless death of this unfortunate girl and wish to wish to help her on her way. And you're not just entertaining yourself as you usually do. Can't believe I say it, but I agree with the corpsey one. Everyone can fall down and die. You don't need no bravery or brains for that. If you fall, you must get up and move on. I've done it many times, and I bet this Elfie will be able to get back up too. After she pulls herself together. Too bad to be undead? Worse to be really dead, or when you give up. I like that everyone's chiming in. No one can be forced into happiness, Jaythel. He says passionately. Especially with such a gift. Lumen, please. End this poor soul's torment. Let her die as she wishes. Oh, I'm not going evil on this. There's no way. I mean, I'm guessing this is the, this is the choice that you... Dude, there's no way I'm going neutral evil. Chaotic good, I can still do, but... I understand agreeing with, with Jaythel, and I sort of get that, but... Dude. Nah. Nah. Like, no, no way I'm going neutral evil. So... Oh! 
She frowns. I cannot disobey my patron and master of these lands. However, I hope that you will not make a habit of disposing of valuable resources like that. Such waste is bad for both the ruler and her subjects. I don't know who to believe in this story. Did the merchant deceive us? Or is this girl lying? So far, all points to one thing. The half-blood lied to us. And he did not merely lie. It was he who killed me in the wastelands. He took the dagger and planted it in his own shop for me to find. Scared the owls with his lies and intentionally sent us here. Yeah, yeah, because he had the eyes. It was him, right? It was him. If any really deceived us both and the elves, uh, and these elves, forcing us to shed innocent blood, then he must be made to pay. You see? Now we both have something to ask the half-blood about. This will be amusing. Let's hurry to the capital. Let's not. Let's not. I have some things to do here. Oh, shit. Got some supplies. What's in wait for me there, What's I that? wonder? Well, there's probably going to be more traps around here somewhere. Oh. Where's my tank? Oh, here she comes. Jesus, man. Look at that force. Fantastic. Oh, what? What are these? Oh. Okay. This is a tiny little area. Okay. So, we did the right thing. And we are done. And now... I do think that we can begin on our way to the other quests. I'm not going to go back to the capital now. I have a few things that I want to do around these parts here. So, yeah. We're going to go... Well, we have to go back to... We're going to the Mud Bowl now, I think. But we're going to go... No, I'm not going to go around long. I'm just going to go straight there. So... There's nothing else to do here. Wait, like, okay, we have this, right? Yeah, we have this. We have this. Let's go. I mean... Oh, shit. You know what? It's kind of sad, but, like, the, it, I, I am actually going past here down that way, so, like, I should just do this. Because it allows me to rest in the city, and it allows me to... Did he say he's going to be in the main... He's in the main square, yes. It quite easily allows me to just jump in here and speak to the guy and, and maybe drop Chathel from the party. I like her and everything, but, like, we don't need her for the next part. If there's no quest for her. We'll see. I wonder if he's going to be gone, the merchant. Yeah. Oh. He's fled as I expected. She touches the boxes that hold the merchant's wares. Her move seemed relaxed until he noticed her undead fingers are tense, and bent like claws of a predator. It's pointless. Illogical. Those children in the woods could hardly be expected to kill us. Why the performance? There must be something. She freezes. Then in an instant she pulls a note from his wares. She glances at it silently and hands it to you. Only one phrase on it. No way out. And the image of a spiral comet in place of a signature. You know it? Of course, the spiral comet's a symbol of Phrasma. Long ago, my goddess managed to break free from the grip of the Lady of Graves. Ever since, she treats Ugathoa's very existence as a personal affront. The half blood must be a particularly zealous follower of Phrasma. He's already tried to kill me twice. Mm hmm. Okay, whatever Enio believes, he has no right to lie and drag people unwritten to his holy war. We must find him as soon as possible. You can count on me. I'll hunt him down even beyond death if need be. Thank you for your help. I'll not distract you further. I'll seek out the amateur backstabber and I'll inform you immediately on any news. If the blood wants to dispatch me to his goddess, let him do it in person. That's good experience. Holy crap. Nice, dude. Okay. Shame I hear Lillian again. No wonder. I saw Lillian going out. Hey, M82, what up? Okay, now we can remove Jathel again and bring Octavia back in. I guess we're going to have quests with these guys soon as well. But it's whatever. Hmm. 
My life is a burden. Oh, I forgot to rest. Balls. It's fine. This is actually probably quicker than running. How is Lillian? Hey, overall, she's actually fine. We're all a little disappointed that her school is delayed. Because our lockdown was extended again. And I, I think that it's now a week later. So her school only starts the week after next. Not next week. She's sad. And obviously we're not so happy because it would have been nice for her. She's really loving school. And the main thing actually is that she's with this teacher that's super amazing. And she only has this teacher until the end of the year. Then she has to move up to the next class. And that makes us sad because this teacher is, is really fantastic. <laughs> so um, any, any and all time she can spend with a teacher would be awesome. Not saying the other teachers are bad. I'm just saying that this one specifically is like really cool. And yeah, it's kind of sad. But at the same time, again... It's whatever, I guess. It's whatever. She's just really, in, she's just enjoying school. But it's for the best, I think, again, because of the whole COVID thing happening here. You know, we have a very slow rollout for our vaccinations. And it's definitely affecting things. And now they have these, you know about it, Lily. The riots and the looting and shit going on. And that's like just making the COVID skyrocket. So, yeah. Shit's just, it's going down. And it's frustrating. But overall, Lily, uh, Lillian's happy. And her last, like, little while has just been good. Like, she, she had a fantastic time at the house of my parents, the other house. And she was very happy to go there, even though, at the, like, you know, at certain points she wanted to come home and whatever, whatever. I think the experience was overall a very positive one for her. And it's definitely something we'd like to do again at some point. It was nice. So yeah, she's good. And she's going to get to see, the one positive I guess is she's going to get to see her cousins over the next few, uh, well, couple of weeks now. Because they're going to be here almost every single day, uh, seeing that their mother has to work and their father has to work. So they will be visiting here with my parents and, well, my mother and Lillian gets to see them. So that's the positive. Have the riots reached Nice not? No, they never will. Huh. Come up with errands for the sweet teeth. Oh my god. I also have to do Valerie's quest. Hold on. I keep... Dude, oh my god. Oh, okay. I mentioned before... Uh, a town like this, it can't happen. It can't happen. That we have way too much, like, in terms of, like, police and, 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 and when riots and stuff break out here and all that stuff, like, we, they have more than they need in many cases. And, uh, yeah, you know, you can't predict the future, you can't always know and whatever, whatever. But, like, I will say for a fact that, uh, if, whenever something happens... Whenever something happens, the uh, the police and the authorities in general are just like on it so quickly. So quickly. Your Grace, we found another way to the Talon Peak. Now we'll definitely be accepted into the Pathfinder Society. This new road, though, it might not be any more convenient than the one through Varnholt. Probably even less so, but who really wants uh, to can definitely get through it. Here, look. Uh, unfolds a scrolled map in front of you first here then down here to the cave then crawl up here and then dive into this underground lake and then you come out here yes this does seem like you're going the wrong way but if you climb this rock throw a rope over this tree and you can use it to get to the other side avoiding all the lava down there and that's only about 40 miles to Talon Peak <laughs> okay probably the way the ancient cyclopses went look we even found some coins wow let's see if you can complete my task Picket fence at Oleg's trading post is tilted. Go and fix it. Null watch is overgrown to be the picket fence. Tilted? We'll fix it up and paint it in no time. They grab their travel bags and they run away. Oh my god, this is fantastic. The Black Lives Matter movement escalated very quickly in the US. Oh yeah, it's not the same. I, I think mostly it's not the same because here... It's happened many times before. 
Dude, it's a it's a, a lawless cesspool already. You guys, it sort of wasn't the same in the US. Okay, give Fredero's letter to Valerie. Valerie, I've received a letter from Fredero Sinai. He says, I am free... I'm to free you from your service and return to Shellen. What? Her eyes darken. Really? May I take a look at this? Hmm, is that so? My apologies, Lumen. I seem to have become the reason for this message. Uh, what? And highly inappropriate demands it contains. I know this person. Fredero Sene is one of the mentors of the Order of the Eternal Rose. The true paladin of Shellen. One of those who insist that they are right till the very end. Kept saying... Louder than anyone that Shellen herself predetermined my fate, even when I was packing my things before I left. Looks like he never came to terms with me leaving since he found me even here. But the nerve, the mistake of leaving our ranks, return to the path destined by the divine will. Since when does Fredera fancy himself personal harbinger of his precious Shellen? Her face is scarlet red, doesn't seem to notice the letter crumpling in her hand. Enough. We must put an end to this. If the Paladins of the Order of the Eternal Rose require a refusal, they shall get it. I'm going to the trading post with you to meet Fredero. I serve you. It's as simple as that. It's my decision. I'm not going to change it just because someone from my past thinks otherwise. Then it's time. Let's go. Fantastic. It's a difficult fight, but you don't die for losing it. Fantastic. Thank you for that. I, I will do that when we go up that side again. We're not going up there right now, so. The main reason I accepted that was because I realized we had a companion quest. And it's probably for the best to just get it out of the way, you know. Make sure we have it in our log, is what I'm saying, actually. I'll go when I'm a little bit closer to ready for it, I guess, but yeah, it's all good. So next things we need to do, we're going to go down the mud bowl and then we're going to go around to the witch's hut again. Like that's, that's the idea, huh? Here we go. Ho! Nope. Nothing. Okay. Mud bowl? Is it going to be in poison here? Man, I'm not in the mood for poison again. Oh! I don't see any poison. Oh! Tendraculos. This is the same kind of monster as we saw that girl up on the hill in the old sycamore area. Is she? I am yours to command. Para She's paralyzed. Oh, okay. It's only 17 more seconds. That's fine. Whatever. She can be paralyzed. Good for her. Don't tell me. Is seriously? I just came here for that. Oh, here's something. Oh. Time becomes distant. Okay. I mean, I guess I just came here for that. It's interesting. Hmm. That wasn't bad at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I thought this would be like a massive schlep of a quest, but apparently it's nothing. I mean, we're done, I suppose. That was quick and easy. Step, step, step. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's go. Do I have tin? I don't... That's all they had here, so... That's all they had here. There's nothing else. I thought the marshy ground would restrict movement, like shallow water or whatever, you know? Empty skull rock. Hmm. I'm going there. Oh, the lost child? Is he at Candlemere Tower? I need to catch my breath. Let's check here. Why not? Oh, wow. Okay. This is a very vertical area. Save. My life is a burden. Everyone's tired. It's fine. We can probably handle whatever is here. Oh shit, ferocious troll hounds. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. We should probably... I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna have to rest soon anyway, so... Holy show, my god! Okay. Uh, yeah, listen. I don't think I've ever seen that many trolls... Well, anything really in one area at one time. We have two fireballers. You know, I'm just going to shoot it on top of everyone here. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Feels good, man. Feels good, man. Feels pretty good, man. Oh, here's something here. Dude, that's a lot of troll hounds. I'm legit so happy that I have uh, Fireball now. It makes everything so much more pleasant. It's such a fun thing to use. We get we get good experience, man. Like, we're doing good. Okay, so we're going in here. Don't know what kind of cave this is. Don't know what... Is there a name? I need to catch my breath. I'm not going to rest before we go in. <clears throat> I'm hoping upon hope that uh, it'll just be more trolls. Yeah. Repent. Stuff like this. Stuff like this. Boxkin? It's nice having Octavia here to uh, splash them with acid. It's good. It's good. I know she could probably do be like be doing a lot more damage if she was using a reasonably good weapon, or if she was using like a, a slightly better cantrip or whatever. But this is boring. Wow. You know. Oh. It brings a lot of utility with it. So, oh, this looks cool. Okay. I guess this just goes to show that we need to check everywhere. Step, step, step. And it also goes to show that there's another cave to explore. Let's check what this is that we just picked up. <gasps> Armor plus four. Hell yes, buddy. What would I have done if it was filled with flying skull enemies? I'm not so scared of them anymore, actually. Because we have two different frost weapons now. So, like, I, I've... See... We did that, that swamp area with the witch's hut, and there were a bunch of face skulls there. So, and we, we decked them. So, it's not really that big a thing for us anymore, I think. Yeah, it could be a problem, but for the most part, it's, it's no biggie. It's no biggie, dude. That's a lot of troll. Dude, that's a lot. Okay. Uh, what I will do is, I'll bring my character back quickly, and I will start casting the scroll of, uh, the, where's the wonder fireball? I think I still have high use magical item, so. This is kind of dangerous. There we go.
I love how it looks when they glow. Look at that shit. That's awesome. You back up. Don't worry about it. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. I like fighting big hordes of enemies. It just feels good, man. There might be more here. Come on! Here we go. Oh, you sweet summer child. What's happening? What's going on? Is there something scary coming? Oh, it's you poor summer child. What happened? This was good. This was a decent little uh, expedition. We got ourselves some good shit here. No spoilers. You will see. Oh, nice. Okay. I like it. We're gonna camp as we head out. Durboba soon? Yeah. Yeah, we just we just took down the Troll Lord's favorite hounds. Oh, my opinions on the skulls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, that I understand completely. I know I'm probably wrong with that, but like, I, I just don't care. If they're fine so far. I need to catch my breath. We'll go a little bit further, then we'll rest. I'm hungry. When we stop. Right now. Manage. Use rations. Has seasoned wings. I was gonna do haggis, but this is fine. Listen, Octavia. Where you're from, do they also treat women like garbage? I don't remember my home too well. But in Numeria, where I grew up, they treated everyone like dirt. Men and women alike. I don't even know which one's worse. Excellent seasoned wings and thighs. Wings and thighs. What about the drumsticks? Have a listen. What are you linking me? Dur, Borba, Halguka, and Tartuk battle theme. We'll, I'll play that when I finish the stream. I have it on my... It's on my playlist. It's right there. <laughs> Don't, don't worry. Is it good? Do you like it? I haven't listened to it. I mean, obviously I heard it. Uh, and I think I even commented on how good the battle music was in the game. I didn't realize it was a unique theme for him. Wow. Just rain. Let's push onward. Dude, what the shit? I see the wagon already. What the hell? It's so easy to spot. There it is right there on the map. Look. Okay, Lindsay Sterling, let's see what's going on here, huh? Dude, it looks really cool. I love the weather in this game. It's a nice theme. Yeah, I don't know if I'd use the word nice, but it's a good theme. How did you fools manage to lose the horses? We're supposed to carry the boxes ourselves? What even are these iron things, and what the hells do we need them for? That's them! She whispers, oh, that's them. She whispers, pointing at the bandits. Caught red-handed. We'll show them what happens when you take someone else's things without... Uh, <coughs> uh, we'll, we'll teach them a lesson. Yeah, don't say shit like that. These iron things will get us rich, blockhead. An alchemical transmutator. I've seen them in Ustalav. We'll just assemble it, turn it on, and turn rocks into gold. 
all on our own. Don't just stand there. Get the harness. You sure about this then? All right. Let's see if we can get this wagon to move. Intimidate. You've 10 heartbeats to disappear. Sure, it gives experience. Uh-oh. Your grace. The shipment belongs to the baroness. What did you get us into, you idiot? Run! Good shit, good shit, good shit. They can go tell their friends. I see to my problems personally. After inspecting all the boxes, Lindsay barely restrains herself from kissing the mechanisms inside. The press, safe and sound. Just needs some assembly. Yay! I can't believe it, my own publishing house. I have so many ideas, so many plans. I don't know where to begin. What do you think I should print first? What do you want to print? I don't know. That's why I asked you. I mean, it's more than just a business decision, right? It's a life choice, a first step. It's not like my whole career will depend on one book, but I'm always, uh, I always think back on it. Remember when you finally got your own printing press, Lindsay? What was your first printing again? Oh, and I don't want to be ashamed of my answer. Print something Iravedi banned, just to spite him. <laughs> Choose something beautiful. A book you wouldn't be ashamed to have your teacher read. This machine needs to pay for itself quickly. No, pick something beautiful. She smiles at you warmly. It was teacher who showed me the beauty in hidden in books. I think the best way to repay that kindness would be to do the same for others. Maybe that's really the main calling of the bard. Are you looking to waste paper? Well, if Lumen lets you, it's your right. Still, you best press something useful for the citizenry, not just something pleasant to handful of intellectuals. Let's get to it. I'll send for the horses to get this delivery right away. Step, step, step. Dude, awesome. Easy. Done and done. Wait, now do we come back here? I can't... Oh yeah, we got the things, so we can do the thing. <laughs> M82, reading is better. You think my reading is better? My reading is definitely better. Here the mushrooms are. Your black rattle caps. The old woman smells the mushrooms and takes a bite. She chews on it slowly for a moment, then grins. A gleam in her eye. <laughs> Strong. These will be good, all right. Wait. How do... Nothing? How much does that cost? 65. Okay. I don't know. I thought I'd be able to like trigger something. Where'd my giant doggo go? Yeah, so about that. Ekundato or whatever that guy's name was. He's not on the payroll right now. He's just doing his thing, you know. He's just sort of vibing back in the base. That's what the kids say, right? There he is. There he is. He's vibing back in the base. And that's cool, man. He's getting to know his dog or whatever. Uh, he doesn't have a quest for me, so I'm not bringing him with. That's the that's the long story short here, you know. That's the dealio. Let's go to the monster den. That sounds fun. I have to go back to Tuskdale soon, but we can do a monster den before then. He's a good main party character. You place Lindsay with him. I know. <laughs> And I, I get the idea, like, I get the sort of the, the gist of it. I, I understand the reasoning. But, like, Lindsay's, she's my jam, dude. I don't know. I, I pick based on personality, not based on usefulness. Except for the tank. Oh, I have new recipes. Hold on. Do I just have... No, I've got more than one. I don't know, man. I know it's like it's a... It's a mistake, but I don't really care. I, it's a mistake I'm willing to make for my enjoyment, you know? Oh, the missing kid! Balls! Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Thank you. I, that's, I, was like, I was like, hey, I have no quests. I have, like, no quests, and I didn't see this one because it was highlighted. <laughs> I do have a quest. I'll check for the missing child. I'll do that right now. Yeah. You play on normal, no need to min-max. Exactly! That's actually one of the main reasons... I think that I, I would have picked a easier difficulty, Ancient Wyvern, is because it allows me to do what I want to do for fun, you know? What troubles me? Oh, you know, the fact that we're running into a dragon. I'm going to take this seriously, okay? 
No, just run in. Done with waiting. How may I help? You can count on me. I wish there was another way. Jesus, look at look at Amiri go, dude. I, I wanted to say this might be like a serious fight, but I don't think it's gonna be a serious fight. I think this is gonna end very quickly. Very suddenly. And uh it, it 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 will just be uh, not I'm not gonna say it's a disappointment. I'm not gonna say that. Oh my god, tank tank the dragon face in a way. Yeah, it was a bit of a disappointment. Oh, wyvern scales. No, oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. But not having an archer does sort of peeve me off a little. Like I wish I had an archer, dude. I do wish I had an archer. Oh my god, they all got the wyvern venom on them. Or what? I took some constitution damage there. Not having a proper archer is annoying to me. But you know what? Maybe I can make Lindsay into like a decent-ish archer. Maybe she can specialize a bit in the the old, the old bowstring. Let's go find that child. Bum 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 bum. Troll clearing. Sure. Oh! I haven't had one of these in a while. A small glade shows signs of brutal troll feasts. It was littered with gnawed bones on the ground, was furrowed with marks from huge feet. The trees held gouges from sharp claws, and the branches had been adorned with skulls of humans and animals, both old and new. Unfortunately, the troll's tracks vanished outside the glade, but we could tell that they used the place often. Of course, we already found the troll's lair, but this spot would give us a chance to catch a few more of the beasts by surprise. Having prepared our ambush, we waited. The trolls were really taking their time. The sun rose higher and higher, but we heard nothing from the woods. But birdsong and buzzing of insects, the fruitless waiting, had begun to tire us out. Amiri killed time by sharpening an already razor-sharp blade. Octavia looked around impatiently, tugging her long hair occasionally. She was clearly bored out of her mind. We continued waiting. As the sun set, the glade was still empty. Darkness spread across the scraps of the trolls' feast, and the grass began to fill the dim light with fireflies. Having caught a firefly, Octavia entertained herself by watching it crawl across her slim fingers. Ambushes take time. We continued waiting in the hopes the troll would show themselves. Eventually, it was late night. We listened to the sounds of the forest, waiting to hear the roar of a troll any moment. Instead, all we heard was the hooting of owls. Our muscles grew numb and our eyelids heavy. What's your problem, trolls? She yawned. Are you coming or not? We continued waiting. <laughs> With little hope remaining, we decided to give the trolls one more chance to show up. The sky began to lighten, and the hooting of owls gave way to twittering of morning birds. We rubbed our eyes as we looked around the glade yet again. Suddenly, a loud cracking came from the bushes. Alert now, we reached for our weapons, but instead of trolls, we saw a huge deer. Arrows buzzed through the air, and the animal fell to the ground. It seemed the ambush hadn't been a complete waste of time. What? The what now? Oh no, we're all tired. Hey, give Lindsay one level in fighter and make her a mystic knight. Pretty useful. Can even add some level in dragon discipline. Dragon disciple. Oh, okay. Uh, one level in fighter, you say? Hmm. I'm going to consider what I can do with Bard. That's actually a good suggestion. Thank you so much. Yeah. That was part of Equin's quest. Oh, okay. Okay. There is still time for surrender. I need to catch my breath. I know that. We'll rest right now. Don't worry. Let's just check where that child is before I carry on. Yeah, I'd, I'd actually, I'd like to see if I can sort of figure out something cool for Lindsay. Candlemere Lake. Okay. May we have a moment of respite? What's the quickest way to get here? Oh god, is it that way? Let's, let's just go. We're going. Okay, now we have to stop. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna BRB quickly, but I'm gonna start the rest in as I go. Let's do Galt Ragu. 
frog thing in the lake. Ugh, what you call it? It's weird. Something green and slimy messing with so many people's heads. The Fae have their own ways of dealing with mortals. Take care not to get caught by such a frog yourself. <laughs> Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, yo. Sorry, Lillian is. Uh, hmm. <laughs> see, uh, today we we switched. See, okay, yeah. So it's like I need to go back even further. I was like, okay, this is not where I start the story, is it? <laughs> um, Lillian is still on on dummies on pacifiers, and today we switched out her. Like we've been reducing her numbers, you know. So we've been taking it, she had four, then she went down to two, and today she went on to one ortho-friendly, like an orthodontic-friendly dummy, uh, so it won't da be damaging to her teeth and stuff, uh, and she's only got the one. And I think that it's causing her some turmoil, <laughs> it's making her a little um, unhappy, and she's not sleeping, so it's going to be... Yeah, she's gonna... I don't know. If she doesn't sleep soon, she's gonna have a rough day tomorrow. But... No, you know what? What is... What is that? What is that bandit camp over there? God damn it. I should go there quickly if I can. I don't know. Anyway, so she's not sleeping. She's got a new dummy. It's a really good dummy. It's nice. But it's obviously not the same as the one she's had for her entire life thus far. Uh, but it's important. Die, so die, she needs die. to stick with it. Mom's having a bit of trouble, so I just gave her a pep talk. Yeah, so I gave her a pep talk and hopefully it's going to be good. <sighs> is it bad that my most, like, the only reason I hate encounters like this is it could take so long to loot. <laughs> 
Oh, I see. I can do this. Okay, wait. I can just click them like. I am yours to command. Don't hesitate. No, okay. It still takes long to loot. Anyway, yeah. So Lillian's having a rough time, but she, hopefully she'll be sleeping soon. That was an icy setup ambush. Yeah, pity they were probably like five levels lower than me. <laughs> My character one shotted two of them like boom, splat, boom, splat. Oh, I can't, I can't. I can't resist. I'm going to check this out quickly. Oh my god, if you just leave the area, you'll auto-loot everything that's locked. Not locked or hidden or in a chest. Oh my god, dude, you're right. Shorty. I can't think, I can't believe I didn't think of that. Thank you so much. That's smart. Hey, you're all leaving some for me, right? Hendrik. Just stand look out like you were told. The man's voice carries the weight of command. He seems to be the leader of these bandits. His bushy beard is matted and his uh, and remnants of the last day's meals are slaving it in it. Quit your whining. We always take care of our own, don't we? Says a disheveled, rotund woman with a round face. Heh, <laughs> you are right. Hey, whenever we have mistreated you, shorty. <laughs> the short, ratty man whose filthy strands of hair do little to obscure his prominent bald spot. Doesn't even try to watch the road. His eyes are locked on the side of his companions, rummaging through the most recent haul of obviously stolen loot. The bandit leader looks up and jumps when he sees you. His soul eye widens in disbelief. Shorty, you ass, you're supposed to watch the road. Shorty spins and finally notices your presence. Hey, someone's coming. Grab your blades, he yells belatedly. <laughs> hey, hold on, everyone. The bandit leader says he sheathes his sword. And Shorty, stop your foaming. Look here. This is our glorious baroness herself. Come now. Bow down, everyone. Bow down. The bandit leader bows, a smirk showing through his bushy beard. The rest of the bandits clumsily repeat the gesture. All except Shorty, who can only glance back and forth, unable to comprehend the situation. Who are you? What's going on here? Why, we're your loyal subjects. Honest bandits, the lot of us. The bandit leader's broad smile reveals a mouthful of rotten teeth. We'd been associated with the Stag Lord band, but since you went and beat the stag out of him, we left on our own. Now you ought to take us in, Your Grace. What? We'd be better with an even stronger leader. No, yeah, you know... Die. <laughs> Shit, dude. Excuse me, but that's not happening. Mm, I don't even think I need a fireball here. I'm pretty sure these guys are weak, so... Rude? Yeah. You know what? Okay, you know what, what, what tip, tipped it over the edge for me? Can I tell you? Can I tell you why I just attacked immediately instead of actually trying to talk to them? Can I tell you what it was? Very good writing. That was fantastically written. They, they sort of, they taunt you. And he was taunting me, like, the whole way through. His, his broad smirk. His smile. His attitude towards me. The, basically, the feeling that he thinks, if he plays his cards right, I'll just let him walk away because he's heard good stories about me as a fair and just leader. As someone who shows mercy. As a softy. No, dude. No. So because of that shit, he dies. <laughs> but it's well written. That was well written. Bring it. Let us strike as one. What? Are they? Confide in me. What the hell? Oh. Head on. Oh, I had information on. Oh, that's what it was. I was like, what the hell is going on here? Oh my god. I mean, now I'm looting everything. <laughs> so how does that make me any better? Oh my god. I don't know. It's, it's whatever. Maybe that's just how they talk in their culture. I am their culture! Shit! <laughs> maybe though, shit, maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, like, come on, they're humans. Like, I, I have a, a, a barony of, of mostly human subjects here. I've dealt with them, I defeated the stuff. I've seen all this shit, man. I know, I know. But me personally, not my character, me. I know that shit, dude. And again, like I said, that was well written. They, they, 
<laughs> they did, I think, what they were intending to do. They they wrote something that would elicit a response, and it worked. Boom. They got they got they got a response from me. I need to catch my breath. Didn't we literally just rest? Oh, we must be overburdened. Oh yeah, we are. Okay. This is insane. We should gather our strength. No. God! I should have avoided. What am I doing? Oh no. Oh, it's bandits again. Let the attack commence. Tear them apart. Turn rage on. This is the exact same one. Are you gonna attack? <laughs> what just happened with that body over there? Oh my god, it's hideous. What happened here? It's malformed. I don't think her rage turned on. It didn't turn on. Why is it? Why is it? Oh, she can't rage if she's fatigued. Gotcha. Okay, so leave the area, huh? That was fun. You're saying I got played by the writers? That's exactly what I'm saying. And I liked it. It was fun. Would do it again, 100%. It was actually fantastic. They did it well. Would be nice. But I, the thing is, that's the thing is, I knew I was getting played by the writers. I knew it. Slavery didn't break you, but could you forgive those who hurt you and give them a chance to atone? Hell no! These wretches had a hundred chances, a thousand. Hell no! Think about forgiving them when they set all their other slaves free. Yeah. I think I spent too long adventuring now, but it's whatever. We're going to continue. If I can get into my kingdom, I don't know where my kingdom starts. Uh, it, it starts up above the river there. Too late. We're going to the tower. I hope this is the right place. Oh, shit. Curse of Candlemere. Oh, is this a new quest? Here we are. Before our very eyes, Candlemere Island. Dark, terrifying, mysterious. Actually, the shore doesn't seem terrifying at all. Ruined tower is the only thing spoiling the view. Time for a walk, it seems. Note wrapped in an oiled letter. Hmm. We came to the island at dusk, decided to spend the night on the shore and go inland at dawn. We've seen some lights floating around the underbrush. For some reason, they don't approach. Keep their distance from us. Tomorrow, we'll head into the ruins. The cleric and the paladin who hired me to guide them keep aloof. They've exchanged whispers about something hidden in the ruins and fall silent as soon as I come close. We've come here to search for treasures for a man called Gunderson, but these two seem to have plans of their own. It would bother me less if Rimsel wasn't the cleric of Nethys. People say... That the moods and methods of his followers change as often as their two-faced god. For now, at least, the cleric behaves nicely, except for the constant frantic speeches about the ruins. Anyways, Brit is a paladin of Erori, so I guess I can rely on his sense of justice. We've heard strange things that take place on the Candlemere Lake. A few days ago, local folks saw a bright flash of light over the tower at the island. No one could explain what it was. Another strange thing I witnessed myself when we were coming to the island. On our boat, I noticed an old geezer on the shore. And this island is thought to be deserted. I guess the geezer saw us too, because he disappeared. I would track the old hermit down, but I don't dare leave the campsite unattended. Can't help thinking this island is really cursed, as the locals say. If the curse is just a fable, and if Rismal doesn't try any tricks, we'll come back here, and I'll take this note away. And if you find this note, Traveller, hop on your boat and go back from where you came. Erastal, bless me. Mori Fokri. Huh. Shit. Cold. Boat's in good condition. Looks like we used not long ago. Okay. Okay. Is there some shit down here? Let's go along the shore. I think I've just gotten myself into something pretty big here. Trail me. 
What is this? There are some strange growths here. Are they going to attack us as we step over them? Oh no, we're going around. Oh no, wait, no. Okay, we're going over. This does look a little strange. Oh no. Oh no, wisps. Oh no. Okay. Good, 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 good. Good. 90 experience. Oh, it's cool that they make you go around the bottom here. This does not look okay, dude. Whatever the hell's going on here. I wonder if the kid is supposed to be up here somewhere. This is really weird, dude. Holy shit, we just got owned! What the balls? Jesus. We didn't stand a chance there. We have a chance here, so it's not a good one, but Jesus, man. I just spammed my key attacks there. Eat shit. God damn it. Okay, we have to leave. I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back. I, that's insane, dude. That's like really crazy. You wish I could see the evil grin on your face. Dude, we just got owned. I don't want to see anything. Okay, I just want to leave. <laughs> we got owned so badly. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I get it now. Yeah. I was literally busy picking this quest up and you were like, hee hee hee. <laughs> it wasn't even long ago. Oh, my God. Right here, my friend. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. I changed my mind. We're leaving. I'll come back. No, shit. Yes. God. Yeah, no, shit. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. They're not a big deal, but that was a grievous gankin, dude. Like, holy crap. They set that up so nicely, and then they had us all in a little line for their backwards. lightning. No backwards, backwards. My, my capital needs me, so I need to go back quickly. Unfortunately, I didn't get that quest done now. We're going to be sitting on this quest for, like, ever. I can camp. Thing is, it's not going to do me any good, because I need to... I need to... Oh my god, I'm going all the way, dude. There's no way. No, don't stop. We're going all the way. I need to camp in a safe place to remove the death's door debuff, so... We made it. I think I'm going to be overburdened now, but I'm not sure. I think I'm going to be overburdened. This might have been a mistake. Why is it loading so long this time? Oh, I'm not overburdened. What the hell? Oh shit, I mean I am overloaded, that's for sure. Oh, it's her! Hey! What's going on? Wait, what is going on? Are you waving at me? Wait! I want you to meet someone. Here, this is Tessie the Quill, a book peddler. If not for her, I'd probably be sitting in a radish patch of my hometown. Oh, she's here! Yo! Tessie, a plump woman, bearing heavily patched clothes, greets you with a broad, gap-toothed smile. Nice to meet you, your barony. Thank you for keeping an eye on this little tot. Hey, where are you from? Right now or in general? I came from Mivon right now. As for in general, well, I'm from everywhere and nowhere. I was from under a bush. I was found under a bush and I've traveled with the wind ever since. Haha. <laughs> How did you meet Lindsay? Went through her village from time to time. Weren't many buyers. I was lucky to sell half a dozen calendars each year. Maybe a couple of cheap vulgar prints. Then a priest from the capital went to live there. He got the young people interested in reading little by little. 
Some would ask for romance stories, others wanted heroic tales. Well, one day, this little tot came by and traded her father's belt, two bottles, and a hunk of bread or two for a two-volume collection of the legend about the Ark Knights of Avistan. Came back later, all tear-stained. Looked like her daddy didn't need the belt after all. So, she sniffled at me and says, Take me with you. I can help. And looks at me like a lost puppy. So I took her along. Why not? And that's what got the ball rolling. So what brought you here? Little bird told me about a proper city in the Stolen Lands. Now one with a printing house too. With an old friend of mine sitting at the printing house at that. So I came by to see her. Maybe buy some books while I'm at it. Will you be staying? Me? Not really sure. Probably for a while at least. The people here seem fine. They read at least. Then again, there's a printing house here. And I get to catch up with Lindsay. Haven't seen her in a few years, you know. After I get tired of things, I'll be on my way again. Give 10 gold. You travel around if you heard anything interesting in my neighbors. She hides the money and smiles knowingly. Of course I do. What do you want to hear about? Brave boy. Bad. People in Restoff are honing their swords. With the royal house gone, it's just a matter of time until there's some big uproar. Everyone knows it and no one wants it, but there doesn't seem to be any way to avoid it. Myvon? The usual. Schemes and duels. Seems like a bunch of runaway bandits flooded in there from Brevoy. Rumor has it the great houses are intentionally strained in Myvon so that the Eldori won't be able to help rest of when the carnage begins. Pytax? Under King Arivedi? <clears throat> what isn't? Parties? Parades? Executions? The king robs the trade houses that he used to, uh, that used to own the city. He brought some gang in from Numeria who's been selling deliriant potions. He sent some strange expeditions into nearby lands, but no one knows what he's looking for. No one can tell what he's thinking. That's why he always wins. Okay, what about my lands? Now, don't go taking me for a spy, all right, honestly. Go ahead and check with me magic. Uh, check with... Check me with magic or just ask Lindsay. Happy to hear and pass along rumors, but I don't go spying on purpose. Oh. As for your question, well... Of course, they're interested. People in Restoff want to know... <clears throat> if they were right to wager on you, well, Myvon and Pytax are still trying to measure their new neighbor. No one knows what to expect from you, so they're getting themselves ready for surprises. Good day to you. Take care, Lindsay. Okay. Pressing R will let you rest. Oh. In your bedroom? Oh, okay. And remember, this is only the start? God damn. Yeah. I know, man. I know. Lucky longbow. Wow. A light shield plus two, but where's the magical aura around it? So very thin. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't see it. That's how thin it is. Yo! Explode! Man, nice to see you. Yeah, everything's going well, dude. Ain't got nothing to complain about. I'm enjoying this so, so much right now. Is there an achievement to hoard every magical item in the game? No, I just collect things until I'm sure I don't need them anymore. Then I'll sell them. Okay? So, like, the main thing is that... I don't know who uses what, and I don't know who I'm going to respec into what. So, for now, I'm keeping a bunch of different stuff. Not specifically anything, just a bunch of different stuff. Like, as an example, I'd love to get Lindsay using something slightly better. You know? Like, I'd like... Well, no. Let's rather say I'd like to get her going on, like, the, the right path to doing much more damage. I don't know. You're seriously addicted to the new Pathfinder? 70 hours on Steam so far. Holy crap. Well done, man. That's insane. That's cool.
That said, I want to start considering what I can do with her. I just haven't thought about it enough yet. Anyway, let's check what's going on here, Kuli. I'll save right now. Success. Oh, okay. Oh, one more day here. Fantastic. A sign from above. And enchanted wind. Expire on one nith. Oh, that's very soon. Oh, this one also. Okay. We can skip one day to get uh, her back here too. But let's have a look quickly. Yeah, let's do that. Success. Okay. Cool. Scouts continue to track the slavers. Awesome. Okay, now we have new things to start. Uh, the respec might not work like you think. No, no, no. I don't want to respec. No, no, no. I don't want to respec. I want to her to dip into something different. I like Bard, and I want her to be a support, but I want her to just do a little bit more. Yeah? Okay. So, let's have a look. So, overall, we have these three busy. He's done in three days. And save before skipping. Yes, yes. I know. I, I mean, I, I did save before that anyway, so it's fine. So, these two... They are 21 days each, right? Oh, this is only 10 days. Maybe I will do this one. Hmm. But I need to rank up again. This will add one community. This will add one econ- Oh, I definitely want economy. Damn it. And this will add one- Can't do that. <sighs> Training. Curses. He's not doing anything. Maybe I should get him started on a... Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. I know what I want to do. Uh, other regions. What is this? Oh, yeah. I wanted to do this. I saved. I'm claiming this area. No, stop. I didn't... I could have queued someone else up first. Damn it. Foolish. Okay, so we need we need Valerie for that one. So if we go to events, we can send someone out on this one, as long as it's not Valerie. Or I could start him up on one of the curses, right? But the curses seem like late game stuff. And they're quite long. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that now. And that would that would actually push me back too far. There you go. 80%. Alright. Is everyone busy? Boom, 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 boom. Advisors. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Now I can save. Now I can claim it. Can we get to put a town down? Success. Mmm! That's huge, dude. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna put a town like far on the side. Like somewhere over here. That's heckin' cool, dude. Triumph. Oh. Military plus three. Failure. Failure. Oh no. This was a problem that I failed. So do I do I load and try see if I can get this one? Try it. No, that's two triumphs and one failure. No 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 no. And another try- oh no, 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 no scumming, dude. No scumming. That's three triumphs. I'm pretty sure that that outweighs the one failure. I'm, da I'm taking it, dude. After gathering a crowd of people at the edge of the woods, Jod knelt on one knee and touched the ground with his palm. Birds started singing, and a huge white elk emerged to greet the astonished people. Fantastic. Scum until all triumphs? Oh yeah, no, that's- <laughs> 
That's a little too much commitment for me. Ah, okay. What is this? Restoration of the Bronze Shield 4. Oh, okay, I can do this. Hey. Hey, that's cool. 100 BP. What the hell? It gives me some cool stuff. What is... Oh, these are the economy of things, right? So let's see what we got. I want to rebuild the Temple of the Elk. Okay. That gives two divine... Teldron mine. That gives good. That's one BP per week. And it's only 25 days. I want to do this one. This one also does one BP per week. What do we have in events? When do I get more crisis points? I'm just trying to think when I must spend the crisis point for ranking up. Oh, okay. Okay. So I need to build a village first. Okay. I think I'm going to put it. So, uh, man, I need to. Where, do, where would a good spot be for a village? I'm very happy with the positioning <clears throat> that I picked up here. This is fantastic. But I don't know where to put this. Whoops. This one. Because I I think that there's a bronze shield fortress here somewhere that might anyway in, end up being a. a, a let's look at the map. It doesn't show. Hmm. Okay. I'll spend one. Okay. Then, economy. Let's restore the mine. Wait, what's our stats? We need relations. We need arcane, culture, espionage. Shit. Two BP per week. Oh. Even better. But that's a trade agreement. I don't know. Save those for emergencies. Oh, yeah, okay. Especially towards the later parts of the game. Okay, okay, okay. Emergencies. That's different than problems, right? Oh, this needs a lot. Holy crap. 1,500 BP. What does this give? Oh, it gives a lot. Okay, yeah. Oberon, the kingdom management was about the only thing you weren't a huge fan of. I must tell you, I, I am not, like, you know, I, I didn't like it a lot at first, and I'm not a huge fan of it, but at the same time, it, it is kind of cool. Like, I do enjoy a, a lot of what we do in here. It's kind of sick. I'm trying to get stuff that gives me BP. Like this. And that doesn't take too long to solve. 
You can always put it on auto. Yeah, but I, I, I was told that the auto part sort of, you lose out on a, on a bit of what makes the game what it is, I suppose you should say. And, uh, oh, he's not doing anything right now. Two of them are not doing anything right now. No, 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 no. And, and I, I, I kind of enjoy parts of it. Like, I really do. So, I, I, I think that, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna rank one of these up. This one. Right now. So, let's send what's his noodle away on something. Economy. If we can. There's his noodle. He can do bronze shield fortress. I think stability is, is quite important. Okay. Now, we're going to rank up. And I'm going to save. I'm hoping I have nothing timed going on right now because that would be terrible. Sweet teeth are back. Gotcha. I'm ready to save scum. Success. Oh my god, is that the only thing? Oh my god! We can claim the next area already? This place. Cool. Problem. Oh, okay. An interesting article awaits in the castle. Okay, okay. So wait, what's happening with our... Projects? One day on his? Let's go back to the throne room. Hey! What's going on? Jod looks to be puzzled and amused at the same time. Your Grace, I've brought an extremely unusual message. That's, how should I put it, an essay on your barony written by Jubilost Narthropel and published only recently. I thought you might like to see it for yourself. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Who's this? Dragon. Young dwarf, worn out clothes, shows you a scroll of fine paper with an expensive seal. He speaks ceremoniously like a herald. Greetings, my name's Dragon Voradash. I come to you, your grace, with a request, or to be precise, to receive compensation. The road of shields used to run through your lands. It was built, among others, by the ancestors and members of the Voradash clan. This means they still own it, even though they were driven from these lands. According to all law, if bandits take my father's house and kills him, the house still belongs to me, so I've come to claim what's mine. Here, take a look. The scroll contains the list of expenses for building the Road of Shields, the cost of laying down the stone, draining, cutting, fire breaks, and so on. You and your people have lived on uh, the lands for a long time that lawfully belong to my people, making free use of the fruits of someone else's labor. Would you now please pay for the work my ancestors did? I... Dragon Waradash humbly demand compensation for those who are no longer able to collect. I do not ask for gold. It's better that you give me a house with a shop which will costs which will cost as much as the sum in the scroll. You see I'm a blacksmith and I used my earnings uh, used to earning my living honestly. I can't work without a shop. As soon as I get what's mine, I'll open a shop right away. You'll have at least one decent blacksmith. Yes. He blinked several times surprised. You agree? Just like that? Like like that? Seriously? I never thought that I'd meet <laughs> in this land of thieves a ruler who was honored by the law. Who honored the law. You are truly a worthy leader. Well, then I guess I'll... Uh, we'll meet when you satisfy my petition. Okay. I'm a pushover? No, no, no. No, I want a blacksmith. Yo, am I gonna go Celestra try? I don't know, is it a good game? Is it really good? Because <laughs> this is really good. Uh, good day, I came to tell you. I'm doing fine in my little shop. Our folk love their ruler, and if their beloved Baroness buys old Bokken's potions, he's certainly worth your alchemist. Here's your gift. Potion of bark skin. One? One potion of bark skin? You shitball. What is that? Where's this guy's, where's this guy's thing that he wants? Let's just look, okay. Problem. That's a problem? The essay is a problem? Where, where's this thing that he has?
Where's where's this thing? Is it a economy? It's not here. Is it? Oh, 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 shit, I see. Oh, God, yes, he wants it in a town. Then there's a good chance it has to be in that area. I can't just put it here. You're right, you're right. Yes. Yeah, it's like Bokken's thing. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. Physically build it. And it's not in my capital, no. It has to be in the uh, South Null Marches. So we need to build a town. We need to build a town, but I need to decide where. So I need to look on the map quickly. I'm coming back here, don't worry. I need to look on the map. No, I'm getting the third village right now. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm not actually leaving here. I'm just looking at the map quickly to see where I want to put the the town. So, I'm going to rebuild Dwarven Ruins, which means if I'm putting it in the South Null Marches, I want it north in the South Null Marches. So, like, mid, so, like, across from Tuskdale, maybe. Right? Because this is going to be a stopover point as well, isn't it? Like, I want it here, like, on the border of the Dianol, like, here somewhere. Yeah. Right? Make it a port town? Hmm. Oh, oh, on one of the rivers, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yes. Needless to say, it's good to have one of those piers or whatever. Hmm. So I'm trying to do the town thing right now. I just don't really know. Bokken's masterpiece. One potion of blur. I'm not, I'm not even gonna, dude. Yeah, that's probably what it is. <laughs> God. Okay. So, oh, these, these two seem good. There. So this is down here is where the fort... This is good. This is good. This is good right here. This one. Oh, what do you guys think? Is that a good spot? Does anyone, like, think maybe, like, here would be better? Or... No, this is fine. This gives us a little, like, sort of poking distance into the next area. Then in the next area, we can build it on this side here somewhere. Or maybe down or maybe up or whatever. Yeah, this is good. This is nice. It gives us a stopover point far away. Null keep. Mm. Do it. Do it. Oh, fantastic. This looks different. What the hell? That's kind of cool. Yeah, there it is. It's Dragon's Armor Shop. Okay. Cool. Uh, it's uh, plus one to economy when adjacent to Tavern or Longhouse. Okay, I need some BP. Give me 100. Wait, what? Oh, okay. And then I'll put his armor shop. Ah. Uh, Probably should put the tavern in the middle. I don't really care. I'm not going to try and like 100% this. Okay, here we go. It's good enough. Fantastic, dude. Fantastic. I'm going to save. Yo, a little spoiler because the game's entirely you visit that town you built, there'll be a second artisan waiting for you. What? Wait, so, but I went up here already and I don't remember there being a second artisan waiting for me here. Hmm. That's weird. I'm saving again, I'm going to skip one day just so I can finish Jubilost's thing. Settlement upgrade. You can upgrade a settlement in your barony. Every three villages and required domain will allow you to upgrade one of them to a town level, provided the six or more slots are occupied in that village. First upgrade may take place in the capital. Complete the relevant project in the projects tab. Start the upgrade once 
the upgrade is complete, the number of slots in the settlement will increase to 20 and the list of buildings will expand. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll send him on that. I'll send him on this. But this is like shit to reduce costs. Hmm. If you don't mind spoilers, I can let you know what Bokken's masterpiece is. I don't think it's necessary for me to know right now. I want to say. I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to buy BP. This one I'm not going to do right now. Okay. That means we have one person who's sort of idle, but that's okay. I'm done. <laughs> it's really strong and unexpected. Oh, well, I mean, that's all you need to say. Because that means that now I know it's worth checking out. And I will try and get his books for him. I might even, like, Google to try and find where they are. Well, I don't know if I'll Google to find where they are. But it's like, it's one of those situations where you know you might, uh, like, never find it. Because it could be obscurely hidden in some little nook or cranny. You know? I don't know. We'll see. Let's rest. I have a couple already? Oh. How do I know? Do I have to go and speak to him at Oleg's? Oh, we have to go to Oleg's anyway. But I mean, we're going to go there later. You even said it yourself. It's not a good time right now. Because <laughs> we're going to get decked. I think I'm going to finally, finally, I'm going to give them another task. And then finally, I'm going to head out and, uh, and go and save that poor child check my chests okay oh oh will it update if i loot them from the chests okay i'll check i just want to give the sweet teeth a new uh task what's in wait for me then I said today I wanted to talk to some people. I'm going to do it like next time, man. Oh, that Oleg always finding fault with things. We straightened up his fence, painted it, and put some wolves' heads on top to scare off the enemies. We even started building a catapult along the wall. And then here he comes running up, waving his hands, yelling us off. He doesn't like the color. The heads will attract flies. And it turns out he wanted to keep the shed that we disassembled to make the catapult. He made us put everything back the way it was. <laughs> but as we were leaving... He was so happy, he even gave us a little something for the road. Yeah, have some. Okay, start weeding, dude. I still can't get used to these swamps everywhere. When I was little, I thought the marshes and seas were glaciers. Oh, and glaciers were all just stories made up by travelers. But here, just when you leave the city walls, you're up to your knees in real swamp. It's fantastic. Do you really think her grace wants us to tell her about her lands? Why not? The swamps here are oh, so juicy, green and blooming, and the mosquitoes whistle day and night. The Padishah himself would envy you. Right, enough talk. It's time we get to work. Okay. It's a good quest line. It gives good experience. It's consistent. It's fantastic. Uh, let's see. Do I have a, a chest here somewhere to loot? I guess I do I have to go back inside. I guess I have to go back inside. I'll check if I have some books. I think I just loot from the books. Like from the chest. I just loot all the books into my inventory. And then I'll then the quest will update. Right? Oh, there it is. That is the one, right? Is it the transmutations one? 
I'd have to take it to him. Ahem. <clears throat> Shit. <laughs> oh my god, 75 days. I need three in total. Okay. Cool. Well, I've got... Wait, there it is. Of transmutations and bodily poisons. Three volumes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I have one. That's cool. Oh my god, what are all these coins? Trail me. Does he take them? Gold coins. A coin from a non-existent country. Where Coral the Conqueror... Oh, we've read this. Torag's Mark. Dryad tokens. Cyclops coins. What is the name of the Coralan ruler who issued these coins? Does anyone remember now? Okay, we did this as well. Okay, there we go. I knew I had something in my inventory that I needed to give to him. Cool. Let's go. Wait, I check if I have the rest? Really? Mm-hmm. Wait. Where'd the one I just looted go? Oh my god, wait, did I just put it... Did I put it back in the chest? Oh, shit, I had it wrong way around. Yes, 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 yes. I had it wrong way around, sorry. One. Two. Yeah, I've got two. I got part one and part two. I'm, I'm assuming they all look the same, so... Yeah, okay. Wait. Why do I have two of part one? Okay, that's fine. Time. Okay, I need a third one. There's another in the chest? Oh my goodness. Or is that the one I just looted? I got two ones and a three. I right, two ones and a two. Ooh, I have three, you're right. You are a genius. Spotting that. Wait, is that all of them then? Where is Bokken? Wait. Oh, shit. Is he in that village up top north? Like, is he in the village that I built where his alchemical shop is? Would he be there right now? Do I have to take it to him? That's kind of weird. It's kind of far. Oh, two were from the herb chest plus one more from the verdant chamber. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, lucky I got that then. Oh shit, what the hell? Oh, it's the Dreamer Cat! To cool! Hey! What the hell? Oh, it just left. What? <laughs> That's really weird. You thought you'd be confused at times, but I top you by a lot. Of course I'm confused all the time. Oh, Bokken is currently at Oleg's? Fantastic. I had a message from the cat. Oh, did he say it in chat? Claw me, claw thee. The Dreamy Cat will help you. Okay. That's a, that's an interesting one. Thanks, cat. Near the end, again. Hmm, no, I don't see it. Hydra information. Initiative check. Hmm. 
No, I don't see anything. Wait, be right back. Gotta get the cat back to your neighbor. Oh my god, is it a Wiimote cat? I'm saving. I hope it's not. Maybe I do hope it is, because this guy seems like a friend. Okay, we should be unpredictable. Travel Done. like this, and possible. this, What's and this, holdup? and... Right here, my friend. And you go in the middle. Where's she going? And so they walked on. I'm listening. Oh. I described the plant and the wound it caused as soon as I could. I hope in the future I'll be able to show these notes to some druid and learn more about this stuff. I should have known better than to go into a bush thicket. The slope was steep and it was a dangerous climb here anyway. <clears throat> Even if the light creatures won't bother us. Rismal started to believe behave strangely this morning. He acted like a real madman. Made me search for the shortcut to the ruins, then refused to heal me when I got wounded by the thorn. Damn priest constantly pushes us ahead. Supposedly he had a message from Nethus himself, and while his god is waiting for him in the tower, the cleric has no time for petty matters. I started to believe all the rumors about the followers of Nethus and their unreliability were true. I wanted to turn back and leave the gold where it belongs, but Brit persuaded me to keep moving forward. According to him, this Gunderson guy has the wrong meaning of the word treasure. The paladin's convinced the treasure, which is hidden in the tower, is some priceless magical knowledge that was left by ancient dwellers of the island. But he's not sure he can get to the place through the thickets without my help. If I had my way, I'd just leave this mess. I seriously doubt our client's interested in some dusty old books, but this argument won't work with a cleric who worships the god of magic and a paladin who serves the god of knowledge. Brit tried to heal my wound by himself as a result. It's almost closed, but still stings bitterly, I hope. A passing, it's a passing side effect because, for now at least, I have no way back. Okay. I have protection from elements communal, yes. <clears throat> I do. Oh! Shit! God. It's just the one? God, what a. Dude. Shit. What a, what a fright it gives me. Save again. I think I have protection from elements. I'll check. Confide in me. Who would have had it? Would it be her? Let you down. No, bothering you. Oh, I got delay poison communal. I don't know who had protection from elements. I'm not sure I remember. I cannot keep this up much longer. Why can't she move? I think she's frozen. Oh my god, saved. <laughs> Hell yes, dude. That was so close. We got it. I, I, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I just got someone in melee range of each of them and I, and I won. You get someone in melee range, then they stop whatever they're doing. Saved. Okay, again. Shit, that was close. Okay. Hey, loot. Save again. I don't think I don't. Man, I. I let me check my spell books.
Oh yeah, protection from energy, communal. That's what I've got. I don't think I have protection from elements, elementals or elements or ele uh, 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 anything else, <laughs> really. <clears throat> Was I supposed to take the shortcut? Because I, I could have taken the shortcut. I don't really mind going the long way though. There's a box. Oh, it's back. It's this way. It's this way. Never mind. It'll help. Okay, let's do it. But it'll hurt me too. <laughs> let's see. Save. I don't know which one is best. Work. It is done. Oh. Okay. Trail me. Wait, can I go up higher? Up that tree? Oh, I have to go up higher. Okay. There's no there's no way to go from here. But what is that item then? It's weird. Oh, it'll help me too. But it, uh, is that before or after it kills me? <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Is it just the two? I can't see if there's... M oh, there's more. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. I need someone in range of that other one over there because it's going to keep shocking us. May I see your entrails, please? I can't keep this up much longer. Bring it! Tear them apart! Problem is now I have them all spread out everywhere, and <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing enough damage to either to any of them to to like kill them. So. It's, it's kind of a rough position to be in. Just, just do some shit, okay? I don't even care. Just do some shit. Last heal. Let's go. Oh, we did it. I don't know what I did, but it worked. I spammed some stuff. Octavius after crippling wound. Yeah, I don't care. It's fine. There's going to be more of them, right? You can count on me. What I'm sure. Can I get light and resist gear? Well, it's as they were saying, uh, resist energy or resist elements, elementals. I think it, I, I, is it elementals or elements? Whatever. Uh, the resist stuff would help, uh, and and I do. I do think that that I, I I could equip that somehow, but I mean I'm almost through this now, so. Surely I'm almost through this now. You forced my hand. Oh, oh. Oh, she's dead for real. Okay, we did. Alright, let's let's rest. Almost done? Good. I'll just rest and then we can go again. Because I don't have any heals left. And if I, oh, well, I mean, I guess I don't have to rest yet. We can actually finish this right now. So what I can do is, I know how to do this. I know how to do this, okay. Give the order. And Lindsay was called forth. So firstly. Let's shake a leg. Time becomes distance. As you order. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Okay, rage, go. And they can come in. I can't keep this up much longer. Serves you right. Get in there, dude. Is he costing his heal? <clears throat> she needs to keep healing, dude. I require healing. 
Hell yes, we did it. I can heal more now, but it's probably unnecessary. Octavia just needs to stand back for a little while. Yes, almost done. Oops, forgot the kappa. Thanks. Oh, good old edible moss. I mean, I could have actually gone around the regular way. I'm just gonna go there anyway. Oh, sick, dude. I mean, no, that's not sick. It's a heavy shield, not a tower shield, so. Eh. Guess it's not that sick, but. Right here, my I wrote friend. It like I saw it. S Okay. Step, step, step. Like, I'm gonna explore everywhere anyway, so if there are more mobs down here, something. I'm just gonna have to run into them, you know? Dead warrior in full armor with Orohi holy symbols lies on the ground. He was backstabbed. Oh, great. Well, we found one What's of them. Wait for me there, I wonder. Potions and scrolls for healing? Yeah, yeah. Weathered relief worn down by time in the elements. Uh, bears the inscription. Jagged and uneven as if written by a trembling hand. Past, present, future. All are one in him. Is the key and guardian of the gate where the spheres meet. Nishkogoth Yogsog Thnoth Nagath Ishtashta. Fine, okay, it's old god speak. Uh, someone lost their mind here. Yeah. Trail me. Someone lost their mind here. I'm like going this way anyway. I am yours to command. Remain vigilant. You are to go Oh, I see. Descend the hill. Do not falter. I can't keep this up much longer. Let the attack commence. Shit. What kind of potions do we have? Is there nothing bigger than cure moderate wounds? This seems really weird. Can she use the scrolls of healing? <clears throat> I think Lindsay can, right? I can't keep this up much longer. She's back. Yeah, boy. How far have I come? I'm at the top of the hill. Am I making progress? I mean, that remains to be seen. I don't know who this one is attacking right now. I think it's attacking me. Ah, we're fine. God, it's just one left, please, guys. Good. Oh, last you saw was Dweemer Cat? Yeah, yeah, so I came over here. I came to this tower. Uh, we getting shit on. We, we, we sort of getting owned a little bit, but it's fine. It's not that bad. I don't even know if this is the right place to be, but here we are. 
I think I'm gonna camp here now. Like we are we are pushing it a little bit. And we need to find a place to rest. Little bit, dude. I, I realize Octavia has sort of seen better days, but that's just too bad. Can't do shit about that right now. Should I be clicking on use rations every time? Why does it unclick it every time? Like, I just don't get it. It's good that we met. Without you, there wouldn't be anyone to chat with around here. It's Octavia, yes, what? You're big on chatting, but I'm glad of it too. My pointy ears are always at your disposal. Step, step, step. They refuse to make camp on stones. Yeah, because they can't put the tent, pitch the tent sticks in, you know. I can use restoration to remove death door. No ways. Okay. Something bothering you? I have restoration, don't I? Let's try Lesser first. Oh, greater. Oh, God. <laughs> Just as I cast it, I see it. Uh, I don't know if I have greater restoration. Let me see. Why would I not have greater restoration in? Oh, no, I don't have... I've got restoration, not greater. Eh. Pity. Oh, maybe... No, I don't have a potion. Save. I'll carve my name into your flesh! Burn! Slice! Uh, the head! <gasps> you deserved it! We got this. <laughs> Team wipe? What? Never. <clears throat> I figured their tricks out, man. You just have to get someone close to them and you win. Oh god, he died. No, not Octavia. Well, both can go there, I guess. Share your trouble. Use the shitty heals, please. I mean, I say never, and I got kind of close, but I, it, it looked closer than it actually was. Because I messed up a little bit with, um, <clears throat> this is the other one. This is the, uh, this is the priest. Only the last page is readable. Left me behind. Begged them to stay. Rimsel doesn't care. Uh, Rismal doesn't care. Nethus has turned the dark face to him, so the cleric is lost to us. Pr promised to come. Oh, no, this is the, this is the other one. Promised to come back, but it's been a long time since he left, and he hasn't showed up yet. I just hope the paladin survived and managed to save himself, at least. These are my last words in my log. The wound is festering, some yellow stuff oozes from it. I couldn't climb the rock to reach the ruins. Guess now I won't be able to stand. My skin burns and I, barely, I can barely breathe. I'll die on this cursed island, and no one will ever know where I spent my last hours. Left alone. But I'm not alone. Damned lights in the underbrush. They come closer now. I'm not delirious. They came for my death. Lights watch. Want my pain. The rest will take my soul. <sighs> yeah. That's rough, dude. Need to go around here quickly. Uh, this must be the last one. Is this the priest? Uh, the cleric? Oh, God. Oh, God. Is there another one? No, it's just one.
We kill it? Oh. No. Applause, please. A warhammer. Cool. What's the enemy you dread seeing most in this game? Hmm. So, it's probably these guys, I guess. But I'm now getting sort of accustomed to them. So it's like less. It's less bad. It's So far it's been them. I don't think repent means what you think it means. <laughs> No, 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 not considering he's healing 99% of the time. <laughs> Reading, no, no, look, I want to actually say that I personally do kind of enjoy the reading. It's just, I want to strike a bit of a balance, you know, I actually kind of, but that's, it's funny and it's, it's true and funny. It's like, I do kind of dread the reading, yes, but those enemies were the worst, uh, but like enemies, let me think. No, they will. Uh, that's fine. Like, I, honestly, I'm enjoying the challenges of the enemies. I know there's going to be more here, so what I will do is I'll heal her up quickly. Oh my god, that does like zero healing. How much health? Oh, she's got 108 health. That's why. Okay, let's go. No, not you. Her. It's going to be like one big gank at the end. Oh no! Oh my god! It's Rismal, but where's the kid? We came here for a child. I know what to do. I know what to do. Come here. What you want? Come here. Confide in me. Come here. Go there. The go there. The and you go there. Me. I'll take the bait. Well. Amiri, go further. Well, Lindsay, go closer. Right Tristian, right go quick, here. Quick. Else we miss Valerie. Fun. Shall we move? We shall move. Strange ripple fills the air. I crave for A man stands in the center of the half-ruined hall. He is motionless. His eyes are closed, head tilted as he is listening to something inaudible. He's clad in tattered black and white robes, though. Mud and dust made his clothes look almost uniformly gray. Hearing your footsteps, the man shudders and turns abruptly. Left part of his face is covered in blood and dirt. Seeing you gives a loud growl in his throat trespassers he spits on the ground are you so eager to die who are you man stares at you for several moments then he suddenly grins and raises his eyebrows in mockery who am i oh oh soon the whole world will know my name he straightens and raises his hands to the sky two-faced rismal keeper of the gates harbinger of nethus i have many names and you shall pay fealty to all of them the all-seeing eye has brought me here to the sanctuary of magic Others came, but they did not survive the trials. I'm the only one who hears the word of Nethus and can operate the gates for him. Then the all-seeing eye rewards his chosen. I'll become a lord in his new era. His eyes turn glossy and dull as he keeps talking. His speech becomes a stream of barely understandable words. It's impossible to distinguish which part of his ramblings are true and which represent his delirious fantasies. Nonetheless, the madman seems to lose interest in attacking you right now. <laughs> Save too late i'm not gonna die here this is not where we die an enchanted sanctuary gates to other worlds they here in these ruins silence he roars you are too blind to see what surrounds you vibrant bright glorious to those who have embraced the arcane and mastered its power his voice drops and his eyes become unfocused nethus himself led me here his voice rings in my head calling all from the portal all these writings all these wandering lights only the blind cannot see the coming of the all-seeing eye. So watch your tongue. The moment nears when I open the portal and let Nethus into this world. Fear my lord's wrath, for there will be no escape. Oh, so the great Nethus is just beyond the portal, yet the god of magic can't cross over on his own. Ha! One more word, insect, and you'll witness it yourself. What? Let's assume Nethus waits beyond the portal. What's beyond the portal exactly? He closes his eyes and takes a breath. Can you feel it? No, of course you can't. The whole tower bears the marks of the arcane. Look around you. Can you see the writings? Some ancient times. Uh, since ancient times, believers knew the portal lay here. So they let the signs of the herald in. Left signs of herald in the arrival of Nethus. Some say the place is cursed. Cursed? Only fools can claim this place is cursed. 
On the contrary, the tower is a portal, true blessing to those who can grasp its real greatness. What did the writing say? A shadow falls over his face. He stares at the writing on the wall with ghostly light. I'll find out, he mutters to himself. When he comes, he shares his boundless wisdom with me. I'll find out everything. How do you get past the wisps? Well, the wisps don't devour flesh. They only feed on suffering and fear. The island is full of them. Since the times this temple was sacrifi sanctified with human blood. Besides, there was no fear in my heart. Only joy and awe. Okay. <laughs> to meet my god and master. Enough of this place. Oh, enough about this place. Whoops. Uh, where are the others you came here with? Who? Ah, oh, you're talking about those who came to the island with me. They're gone. One of them gave up halfway here. I know nothing of his fate. And the second, the miserable creature, he... He closes his eyes as if fighting to control his temper. He kept talking. How knowledge must be for everyone. Wisdom should be shared. Telling others about this place. Kept talking and talking. So I silenced him. So no matter if the silence cursed or not, you're in the right mind. You don't know what you're doing. He shuts his eyes and then slowly opens them. How dare you? He hisses through clenched teeth. Nethys himself guides me. How dare you judge a chosen one of the all-seeing eye? Oh, I failed the religion check. As you listen to him, you can't stop wincing. The man's voice is so convincing. His beliefs are so strong that all your doubts of his words just vanish. Okay. I saw a corpse. I found a corpse on the island. I know the one. Uh, you know the one I speak of. He perished in suffering. Terrified, cursing those who left him to die. What did he do to earn such cruelty? Mori, we should have come back for you. But all I've done was for a greater purpose. History will vindicate me. Nothing you say will break my faith. What about the dead paladin? What do you want to know? As you look at him, his face changes. The obsessive gleam in his eye gives way to astonishment and terror. He grows a haunted, throws a haunted look at his surroundings, then touches his face and stares dully at the blood. What have I done? Great Nethys, what nightmare is this? This can't, can't be. I failed you. Misled by illusions. Darkness took my mind and I... I... He utters a heartbreaking cry and buries his face in his hands. When he finally lifts his hand, uh, his head, his eyes are full of tears. How can I atone for this? All I've done. It's not possible. But the voice, the voice that urged me to open the gates, it still sounds inside my head. But it's not Nethys. No, it's not him opening. It's something else. I, I, I would never be able to repay you for your help, stranger, but I must ask you to do one more thing. Will you help me confront the creature that awaits beyond the portal? I'll be able to open it. Uh, and let this thing come to Golarion, but we have to destroy it before it finds some new prey. When we're done with this, I'll stay here and make sure no living soul ever falls victim to the island. I'll help you. Okay. I am your I really man. Not help you. Oh no. Duke Dazzle Flare. Any last wishes? Are we already blessed? No. Sausages. <laughs> Different story entirely. I hope I survive long enough for this. No, I think I'll be okay. I honestly think I'm going to be fine. I didn't want to be tanking, but here we are. Oh no, what is that? Is he dead? Oh, okay. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Cypress Queen's flute. Okay. Why are you here, traveler? You, are you sure you want to stay on this island? This is my penance. Someone must keep watch over the portal. I won't let anyone else die here or become enslaved by temptation. 
Now, if your mind's clearer, tell me about this place. I don't really need to know. Places where two worlds connect, the border is razor thin, so I gave it gave birth to a portal. Now it's sealed, but when I was performing the ritual here, it, I noticed it's easy to open. Someone must have used the portal before, not long ago. Can you seal it permanently? Alas, I'm not able to do it. The only thing I can do is become a guardian of this portal till the end of my days. Is the island cursed? Cursed? Definitely not. The tower is full of magic, but cursed? Unless you call a clouded mind a curse of souls. Okay. Carry on, dude. That wasn't so bad. I'm glad we did it. Let's check what's over here, and then we can go look what that is. Nice dire wolves, dude. Oh, some full plate. It's kind of sick. So, can we just run out now? Nope, we have to go down here. I mean, that would have been a, a straight shot. Well, no, it's not a straight shot, is it? Where's the way up here? There's the way up. Oh, the way down doesn't need checks. You just go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there was no child here, by the way. Huh. Must have been in a different area. I mean, I came here now expecting to find the child. That was good experience, though. Like, we, we really did well there. Need any hints? Nah, I'm okay. I, I will, I will basically just start on that uh, when I when I start the the stream tomorrow, and I will see about basically <clears throat> just uh, finishing up. I think not finishing up, but consolidating the uh, the areas that we have explored right now. Like I I know I have now claimed this area down here, so I can come and and claim all these things, which is probably a really good idea. Uh, and I should probably explore the rest of my area down at the bottom here and around the sides or whatever. I, I should just basically see if I can see the southern normal. It's like this whole area here. I need to finish exploring and, and I need to claim all the resources and stuff. And then and then the, maybe like here, I'll, like I'll check the lizard folk village. That could be a place where they uh, where they would find a boy or whatever. And like there's a lot of stuff here that I just haven't touched yet. So I'll probably I'll probably uh, just come and check that out next time. <clears throat>